Well, we talked about this earlier. It's no secret the real estate market is a mess. But CBS 5 News has uncovered a new kind of home that could revolutionize the housing industry. Tonight, Jason Berry shows us Arizona's first ever zero energy home. It looks like any other new neighborhood in Arizona, but it's not. There's not going to be any electric bill. There's no water bill. And as far as environmentally friendly, that speaks for itself. Welcome to Arizona's first zero energy homes, where everything is run on solar power. It reads the power going in and reads the power going out as well. In so fact, you know, developer Don Quackenbush buy. says these homes produce so much energy that you sell the extra power to APS during the day, then buy it back at night when you need it, saving homeowners about $2,000 a year on their electric bill. We've already fed 149 kilowatts into APS's power grid, so other people have used 149 kilowatts of power that this house has produced. Quackenbush has been working on this energy-efficient project in the far west valley near Tonopah for the past few years. He says it was about time someone found a new way to help families struggling to buy homes and pay their mortgage. It's not just about the home, it's about families to be able to afford to live in a home. The zero energy homes all have triple pane insulated windows. And did we mention the carpet is made out of recycled soda bottles? When I would tell people that, they're expecting to see uh, little soda labels all over it, but it's, it's actually has it looks like normal carpet and it's a recycled product. The roughly 2,000 square foot homes cost around $260,000 and programs are in place to help low income families get a loan. Quackenbush wonders why other builders didn't do something like this sooner. An ironic twist to this story, these zero energy homes are located just down the road from the Palo Verde nuclear power plant. We're told if all houses in Arizona were using solar power, it would produce as much energy as Palo Verde. Jason Berry, CBS 5 News. The Mesa Public School System has a new tool to help